Wrestling isn't real. If you've been a wrestling fan for more than half a day, you probably have this said to you maybe once or twice or maybe a lot more than three times. It has been used as a gotcha statement for many, many years to kind of almost discredit the realness of wrestling, right? Or the, or the authenticity of wrestling as a form of entertainment because these guys aren't doing this for real. So, you know, why spend your time watching this form of entertainment? This question has been so controversial. It doesn't even cause people to be slapped in response to it. But I actually have another take on this question because I'm actually glad that wrestling isn't real. Even more than that, I'd say I'm even a little relieved wrestling isn't real. Okay, I'm gonna give you a real world example and then I'm gonna juxtapose it against something that happened in wrestling, all right? When there is the issue of paternity or uh, parental custody rights in the real world, how is that typically handled? As far as I know, as it relates to the paternity, you'll get the, maybe a DNA test done, right? And as it relates to the uh, custody of the child, uh, parental rights, that is usually done via judge, typically, right? The parents can't mediate themselves, they'll, you know, allow a judge to do that for them. In wrestling, <laughs> we do things a little uh, differently. A prime example. In the year 2005, there was an event held on pay-per-view to settle who got custody of a certain child. One Dominic Mysterio. The two that were in dispute were his father and one we'll call his uh, uncle. Eddie Guerrero. Now tell me, how absurd does that sound, right? To have a, that, uh, to have a match for the custody of a child. In no other context, in no other form of entertainment does this really work outside of pro wrestling, right? And, uh, oh, if you're worried about that child, don't, uh, he's actually one of the biggest stars in wrestling today. Um, oh, well, let me show you a picture of him. 